Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a gorgeous day wherever you are and whatever you're doing. It's Friday night and I've just pulled up at the gym. I don't know if I'm okay. I shut my laptop about 10 minutes ago and I thought to myself I just kind of fancy being slightly active. Had a look at the timetable on David Lloyd's um, app thing and every single class was fully booked so it's kind of like a phew, sort of situation. But then stupidly I thought, well I'll turn on alerts to body pump, because nobody will pull out, but it gives me the excuse that at least I've tried. Somebody pulled out and so therefore I have just pulled up at the gym and I'm about to do body pump. I'm also going out with the girls tomorrow evening, will more than likely be wearing heels and I'm going to be very achy because I haven't strength trained. Strength trained? Strength and trained? Trained. In strength. It's Friday and it's been a busy week. Brain is not quite functioning today, um, but I haven't lifted weights in a very long time because I I say I haven't had the time. I haven't found the time. But luckily, I was already in active where I've got my Halara leggings and top on. And literally today, I received this gorgeous new zip up hoodie from Holland Cooper. It's part of their equestrian range, but it's in this really beautiful colour. It's also got a diamante. I don't know if you can see, but like a diamante sparkly sleeve as well, which is beautiful and perfect for chucking on before going to the gym and or riding because it's freezing and it's also fleecy lined as well so anyway I've got a couple of minutes until my class starts I've got to go and set up my little body pump station and when I get home I'm going to cook with you my favorite meal ever at the moment that I just can't stop making I'm hoping I don't get sick of it because it's so affordable and budget friendly to make so nutritious so filling and just bloody delicious I've literally made it every single day for the last two weeks I think now at this point so we will do that together as well when we get home but I will see you upwards <laughs> And now I'm home from the gym, let's cook dinner together. So this is my favourite meal and it's so simple to make. Whatever vegetables you have in the fridge or the cupboard, chop them up as small as you wish to. Today I'm using carrots and sweet potato but I've added leeks before, kale, broccoli, asparagus, literally anything that I've got lying around. I then add everything to my roasting dish, topping with some olive oil and some chicken thighs but again any protein that you wish to add you can. I season everything really really well and then I like to add some beef stock and boiling hot water over the top but any gravy granules whether it's vegetable, chicken etc pour it on the top and then literally forget about it for 45 minutes and this comes out of the oven. It's so unbelievably delicious whether you're solo, you've got a partner and or cooking for a family, budget friendly, super nutritional and I promise this is so yummy. you a girls night like a proper girls night with proper girl dinner and we're going to somewhere in Poole called Nasaratai it's been on my bucket list I say bucket list but maybe not bucket list but sort of places to go list all summer long and I'm finally going and I'm going with girls and I'm so excited I need to show you my dress once I get there because you're gonna love it it's affordable it's comfortable it's the color of the season it's so easy to wear through every single autumn and and it's flattering it's gorgeous it's a gorgeous sort of jersey material I'll show you when I get there I don't want to dangle the carrot too quickly but obviously as always everything will be linked in the description box it's a glorious sunset this evening and I'm more than likely about to get blinded by it at any moment but did I tell you where we're going for dinner Nasaratai in Pool I don't know if I said that but that's where we're going and I've been crazy 
craving Thai for such a long time. Definitely more of a picky, not picky, I'm not a picky eater, but more so that I would rather order a couple of starters than like a noodle dish, if that makes sense. I just like to try lots of different things and have like picky bits. That is more than likely what I am going to be ordering this evening. And I'm just so excited to spend the evening with the girlies. I'm gonna bring you guys along. Tomorrow morning is Sunday. I've got a roast dinner date at midday, but in the morning, I am planning on making cinnamon rolls. So that is one hell of a sunset. Definitely got blinded. <laughs> um, so we will be doing that together. I do need to go to Tesco though to get some ingredients. So as long as I've got time to let the dough rise, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not sure what time Tesco's opens on a Sunday. If it's nine o'clock, we're in business. If it's 10 o'clock, we're not in business. I might have to bake something different, but I'm just really in the mood for cinnamon rolls and I'm gonna be around boys tomorrow so they can eat everything that I'm making because I don't, that's the one thing I don't like about baking is the fact that I either eat it all or I don't eat it all because I don't want to eat it all and then it goes to waste and I hate waste. So tomorrow's the perfect day to make something a little bit naughty. But anyway, I'm going to continue my journey. I will chat to you guys when we get there and show you my dress. everybody it is monday and i didn't catch up with you guys yesterday i had my girls night which was lovely and then yesterday i had a total reset sunday and i wasn't on my camera i wasn't on my phone and it just felt really needed i just feel like all of my batteries to recharge today which is exactly what you need on a monday before a busy week one of my one of my favorite restaurants in bournemouth old harry's rocks has recently started doing roast dinners as of last week so we went to check it out yesterday and honestly 
10 out of 10. I feel like it's really difficult to find a roast that is that highly rated when you're going out for dinner because they always taste so much better at home. But yesterday, honestly, it was so good. So anyway, you may notice that my background looks slightly different today. I'm at one of my favorite hotels in Dorset, which is the Priory Hotel in Wareham. I'm here today to shoot the beginning of their autumn content, but also Christmas content. I'm starting off in my favorite room in the hotel and I'm going to turn you guys around, give you a tour and you're going to see why I love this room so much. I am desperate to have a stay in this room because the view, I feel like when it comes to hotels and views and rooms etc, I hope you agree with me that this one from a hotel is very, very hard to beat. So let me show you around. I'm going to give you guys the full experience. So we're going to go out and then come back in. <laughs> And this part of the hotel is called the Boathouse, and you're about to see why. <laughs> anyway, welcome to my favourite room in the hotel. Are we ready? Can you imagine waking up here and having your morning tea and coffee? I just don't think it gets any better than this. It is just so beautiful here, but it's so peaceful up until I start vlogging and talking away. <laughs> it's so just, it's perfection. Like it just doesn't get better than this. If you're a lover of both the water and the countryside, this is the place to come. And then once you're done with your coffee out here, we go back into the room. <laughs> All right, go on then. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, come here. Yeah. And just like that, Christmas content is beginning and I have been sent some beautiful and when I say beautiful I mean beyond beautiful outfits from Hobbs London. Details in this cardigan are just beyond and, and they're matched with this beautiful tartan mini skirt. The Christmas vibes are Christmas vibing. Hi everybody, so I am back from the Priory and I've just had a cardo at the door delivering my food delivery so I thought I could show you what I've got this week because I have done a little bit of a food shop. I had a bit of an accident last week where the freezer door didn't shut properly. So uh, you can imagine what I came downstairs to in the morning, which was lovely. So I've got a couple of freezer bits and some other bits and pieces. So let's do a food shopping <laughs> unboxing slash haul. <laughs> bags. We have pears, asparagus, blueberries, cotton candy grapes, leeks, and lemons. <laughs> and then next bag, these are incredible. They are like a gut healthy uh, kefir, kefir drink, um, but it's the banoffee pie flavor. The Biscoff one's really good. The banoffee is my favorite. So I've got a couple of those. Also, this is the best festival pasta ever from Marks and Sparks, especially at this time of year. I'm not a fan of goat's cheese, but I love these. So it's the goat's cheese and red onion like fill ravioli basically unbelievable and you can eat this on its own just with like a little bit of butter and parmesan like you don't need a sauce these are that good so i always like to have those stocked in the fridge i have got lots of baking to do so i've got lots of butter got some cheese another kefir 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 drink love this stuff this is my fave yogurt coconut yogurt one of these i think they were three for six pounds i've got an apple crumble yogurt because that just sounds so seasonal also also, I shop on Ocado because the majority of the time delivery is either free or 99p and I find everything really reasonable because they always have so many offers on. Um, but also Parmesan and I've got this little detox shot as well um, because I've got a heavy weekend planned, this one coming, well, it's Monday today, but the, but this weekend on its way. So I've got one of those to help me feel a bit more alive in the morning. Next in the bags we have got... Again, I'm doing lots of baking so I've got eggs, although I feel like I've ordered two lots of 12 eggs, which is... Far too many. That was obviously a mistake. 
on my part, so I'm really going to have to get baking this week. Um, I have got myself a steak. I haven't cooked myself a steak at home in ages, but this was on offer. And I thought, actually, um, I've got some pak choy in one of the other bags. I love a steak with pak choy, so I'm going to do that. I've got loads of chicken thighs. Yeah, I've got two packs of these, because if you've been watching me and watching my meals, this is like my thing at the moment. And then also because they were three for £12, which is epic, epic for two salmon fillets, I got three. So I've got six salmon fillets for £12. Perfect for the freezer that I'm now restocking. Also got, as I mentioned, pak choy and my favourite juice, which is the apple with elderflower. And then we've also got some milk. Next up is the actual freezer bag and I love just having these in the freezer, especially on a hangover. Just chuck them in the air fryer. They're like little hash brown bites. So good. Um, I've also got some ice cream, just a big cart door. I love cart door ice cream. As well as frozen jacket potatoes. Again, if I'm getting back late and just want a quick dinner. Now, obviously, because I'm restocking the freezer, we've got peas. And we have sweet corn. Frozen. I've got quite a lot of frozen prawns because I personally love me a good prawn. So I've got some frozen ones of those. I've got... Oh. Again, these must have been on offer because I've got three lots of prawns. Uh, I've got some frozen... I've got some frozen pastry because that's always good to have on hand in the freezer and then lastly for the freezer I've got just some chicken again just for those nights when I get back late sometimes and just want something super easy to throw in the oven <laughs> next we've got some snacks I feel like I've got more than one box of snacks one bag of snacks even um I love 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 these Alpen bars they're the chocolate and caramel shortbread ones so good um I've got some chocolate fingers because they're my favorite ones especially the ones that have white chocolate and milk chocolate um love these as well from deliciously ella they're the apple and raisin oat bars these are fab for like breakfast on the go if ever i'm in a rush i've got some ground almond some shallots oh that's in the snack bag uh i've got some oh i've got some water drops i might try one of those right now because i feel so dehydrated i've not drunk any water all day really today so i may try one of those um i've got some brunch bars garlic granules pasta because i'm out of pasta um yeast, cinnamon, icing sugar, oat milk. <laughs> Next bag, I've gone OTT, I think on baking goods, I've got quite a lot. Um, so we've got two things, big things of self-raising flour. Um, I've got some macaroni pasta because I just really fancy macaroni cheese. Um, one night, either this week or next week. Uh, we've got some bread flour because I think I told you guys I want to make some bagels. Try and attempt at least to make my own bagels. So, so obviously needed bread flour. Two juices because I am a child and I like my water with squash. <laughs> um, we then have granulated sugar. Two bags. Two bags of normal flour. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put all of this. Um, and then I've also got some dark brown sugar. Chocolate ice gems because they're the best thing in the entire world. So we've got some kitchen roll because I've been out of kitchen roll for far too long. And we have some bleach. Very, very unexciting. And to finish everything off, Weetabix. Love myself some Weetabix at this time of year. Hot and in the microwave, however. Is that the protein one? Or just normal? Just normal. Some penguin biscuit like little things to try. I've not tried those before. Um, new to MS, we've got some cinnamon bun bites. They look delish. And also, I am a flavoured Oreo kind of gal. When I went to New York last year, I came back with so many pumpkin spice Oreos. If you're going to America and you can get your hands in and you can get yourself into a target, get the pumpkin spiced Oreos. They are the best thing on the planet. But on a cardo, we've managed to find ourselves some gingerbread flavoured Oreos. So um, I'm really I'm really looking forward to trying those. Um, but that is everything that I've ordered on this week's, I say this week's, probably like this next three weeks, <laughs> uh, a grocery haul. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow when I do some more vlogging. <laughs> Oh, hi there, everybody. I have some doggies joining. Are both doggies joining? Ouchie, that was quite scratchy. I need to sharpen and de-sharp on your claws. Yes, I do. Yes, I'm quite sharp. Anyway, hello, everybody. It is a fresh day today. It is Tuesday. I didn't chat to you guys too much yesterday because I was... Excuse the noise, actually, over here. We are now killing all of our toys. But I didn't chat to you guys too much yesterday because I was on a shoot all day at the Priory and I was in busy girl mode. 
But anyway, it is a fresh day today and it's kind of as if we've got the summer back. Am I happy about it? Not really. It's kind of too hot outside, I would say. But I have got some beautiful, beautiful new autumn clothing pieces that have arrived. So I'm going to share them with you in a second. I want to try and cook a yummy dinner together tonight as well and tomorrow is the last day of this video but we're gonna go and ride Ringo together. I'll chat to you all about it tomorrow but I'm actually going to planning on anyway driving the lorry to the yard tomorrow because I have all of his like winter wardrobe just in case for any reason it starts tipping it down or the temperatures suddenly go like really cold and I haven't got the time to go up there or I'm away or whatever. Um, let's know that all of his fashion outfit choices <laughs> are at the yard and ready for him and we're going to ride and have a lovely time with him tomorrow as well. The next video by the way, um, which just in case I don't tell you tomorrow, is going to be a very special one. Um, I am going to my first ever movie premiere. Yeah, yeah, you heard that right. Mm -hmm. Imposter syndrome is real. Very crazy. Um, very, very crazy. So we're going to be getting ready together. We're going to be at the event together. I have a birthday. So that's actually uh, on Thursday, so two days from now, which is why I started filming a little bit earlier um, than I usually do for my weekly vlogs because I need to edit this and have it ready to go because I have a chocker weekend. I'm actually planning a surprise birthday day on Saturday um, so I need to make a cake on the Friday so it's going to be like a really nice vlog and um, the next one it's going to be a mixture of glitz and glam autumn in London some girly time because I'm going with one of my best friends as my plus one baking um, probably not the party content because by the time I'm having a couple of drinks I'd never remember to bring out my phone but it is a surprise birthday and I'm very excited it's the first one I've actually ever planned and you know how usually organizing people is so difficult this has been so simple and the restaurants want pre-ordered food. Everybody's ordered their pre-ordered food, but so simple. It's the most simplest thing ever. The thing that's going to bring me the most stress is making sure I get the cake right um, and, and making sure I look good on the day. That's it. Um, so anyway, but anyway, let me share with you some of my new clothing pieces I have. <laughs> that just went straight in my eye. It's not a day at the moment where I'm not doing something ridiculously clumsy. I'm getting worse. I went to get into bed the other day and I had um, pyjama bottoms on and they'd just sort of slightly gone under my foot. I sk skidded along the, the bedroom carpet. Like skidded, like really nearly lost it. Um, just walking into bed. The other day I had a cup of tea and I've never dropped a cup of tea. And I dropped it. It went everywhere. Um, the week before I was at Salon Privé and my coffee went there. I don't know what's going on with me at the moment. I don't know whether I need like a su I don't know whether it's a vitamin deficiency. I'm just very clumsy. But, but anyway, less about me and my inability to be a natural human being at the moment. Um, and back to some of the gorgeous pieces that I have been sent. So, blue box delivery or blue bag delivery. Fairfax and Favour, their first ever knitwear piece. It comes in a couple of colours, I will leave it linked in the description box. I'm so excited. And I love it. <laughs> so this is called the Anna Wool Cashmere Crew Neck Jumper. I'm wearing a size, I've got mine in a size small and mine is in the colour Biscuit, which is totally on brand. If you know me, I love my biscuits. <laughs> it's gorgeous. This is the ultimate cozy jumper and I feel like what is so wonderful with jumpers like this especially and given the length of it as well like it's not too long but it's also not too cropped is not only would obviously this go beautifully just as a basic jumper either over a shirt on its own with jeans trousers leggings whichever whatever but over the top of a super cute dress and on midi or maxi skirts too it's just giving the most perfect jumper that you can wear time and time again. It's also the kind of jumper that is going to be in my wardrobe for years and years and years. It is so well made and so soft. I am loving it. So love the colour, obviously, if you know me. I love my beiges, my neutrals, my vanilla sort of shades. It's embossed beautifully with the Fairfax and Favour emblem. And I'm just looking in the mirror at it. It's it's beautiful. So if I stand up just so you can see the length. So it cuts off at a beautiful length. I've got a little mini raw neck, which is perfect for me because actually, however much I love like an actual turtleneck, and I adore turtlenecks, I actually can't wear cashmere or wool um, uh, turtlenecks because they can 
because I find them so itchy. Um, it's got to be sort of like a almost, it's got to be sort of a quite a cheap soft fabric for me to be able to actually have it around my neck, which is so annoying. It's the perfect height of a sort of somewhat raw neck on my neck for me to not feel the itch. I just have such a sensitive neck to itch. Um, but I love it, so I'm very, very happy with that, and that is going to be worn an awful lot. Then we've got some new pieces from LK Bennett. I just feel very grateful and very honoured. So let's begin with shoes. And let me tell you, these are going to be worn and worn and worn and worn and worn and worn and worn. Because they are because they are my favourite autumn colour. Okay. Do we agree? Are these just gorgeous? I'm a gold hardware girly. If you know me, you know that already. They're a chocolate suede. And I love the fact that it's a kitten heel as well because it's going to be so easy to walk in. And a kind of shoe that I can wear from day to night, which I love. And also goes so perfectly with this new jumper. <laughs> as I say, I'm going to be wearing these to death. I love them. I am just... I love my chocolate colours. Now next up we have a very perfect suit. And one of the instant things that I loved most about this is you don't actually have to buy both pieces together and or you can buy both pieces together but also get so much wear out of them separately as well. It is a houndstooth suit which I love houndstooth. This blazer is pure perfection. Of course as well, gold hardware. And it's sort of a blazer slash jackety coat so I'm very excited to be able to style that and also of course to style with it the matching trousers also so beautiful they've got belt loops too fabulous sized pockets they've also got little faux pockets at the back as well which is always so flattering on the bottom and they are also a really gorgeous length obviously tailored beautifully made to perfection the quality is just 10 out of 10 it's yeah these are two very special pieces, which, as I say, I'm going to be getting lots of wear out of together, but also apart. I would obviously so wear these with just a black turtleneck and or a black blazer as well, which I'll show you in a second as I have a gorgeous LK Bennett one now too. And with the blazer slash jacket too, I would obviously get so much wear out of that with the trousers, but also sort of dressed up with lovely black trousers, with jeans. Um, I'm yeah going to be getting so much wear out of these. Now, I'm incredibly lucky to do the job that I do, and I love the job that I do. And within my work, obviously, I receive a lot of items, whether it's it be cosmetics, whether it be self-care items, clothing, footwear, etc, etc. Sometimes I get sent things through choice, or sometimes things just turn up randomly, but when I do get the choice to choose things, whether it is for PR, for gifting, for paid work, etc, I'm really making sure now, going forward, that I am choosing things that I will be wearing time and time again, really timeless pieces in my wardrobe, things that are going to be just as on trend in 10 years time to what they are now. Not just from a personal opinions point of view, and also not because obviously I need to have some space left in my wardrobe but also more importantly as well because I don't ever want to promote something that I don't love if that makes sense even today I'm trying out a new eyebrow product I hate it <laughs> my eyebrows today we're not allowed to look at I know obviously now you're going to be looking at them um but you know go but it's, but it's a product I've been sent it's a product I've tried and it's a product that I won't be promoting because you know personally I mean it might work for other people but for me I'm not the biggest fan of it um so that is something that is really important to me when I'm promoting anything is that that it's something that really has a place in my heart and that I love a lot. So I really hope when you see my hauls and things like that that you actually notice the fact that everything is super timeless and something that if you were to invest your money in that you will get so much wear out of as well. And that actually now pairs perfectly with the perfect black blazer. So again LK Bennett, again gold hardware. A classic black blazer, in my opinion, is something that every woman should have in her wardrobe because you can dress it up, you can dress it down, and it's something that just makes you feel the second it goes on so powerful. You can wear it on properly, you can wear it over your shoulders, you can wear it through every single season, and it's never ever going to date. And this one in particular is really gorgeous. They do have some shoulder pads as well, so you're going to have a really nice structure to the shoulder. And obviously everything will be linked in the description box as well, in case you've wanted to have a little browse for yourself. But if you are in the market for a classic black blazer, obviously this one is more of an investment piece. But I would always just say that to make sure that when, you try, when you're when you trying things on, that it does fit beautifully, you feel 100% confident in it. You love the button style, you love the lapel style as well. You actually have another black blazer, which has been my go-to up until this point today. Um, and that was a much more budget-friendly one. I think it was about 
50 or 60 pounds but I'd been on the hunt for years to find the perfect black blazer for myself before that and everyone obviously has a preference people people love oversized some people love more tailored but I do definitely think it's something that you should invest wisely in whether you're going for a more cost-effective one and or a pricier one is just make sure you love it and make sure that you try it on with jeans with trousers with dresses like a load of different varieties as well so that you know that you're going to get the most amount of wear out of it for your money and and that is my waffle over on black blazers and why I think they're so important. <laughs> and lastly from LK Bennett's and lastly for this haul this morning. Oh, the buttons are covered. Let me uncover the buttons so you get the full effect first. This one is definitely leaning more towards the winter purchase and it's something that I currently don't have in my wardrobe and I'm very excited to have this in my wardrobe because actually I wear a lot of navy and I now have the perfect navy coat and also quite on brand for my summer this year <laughs> it's quite nautical on the inside with the blue and white stripes this is a maxi length coat it is so beautifully soft i am going to be living in this pearls i love the feel i love the gold hardware i am very happy with this this is going to be one of my probably most worn winter coats this year i'm very very happy with that so thank you very much lk bennett for sending me these gorgeous pieces i am thrilled and i just want to quickly grab something that's here two seconds just lastly i wanted to share some pr that i've just been sent actually from wild deodorant or what was wild deodorant and is now i think just known as wild because they have so many different products now wild is totally sustainable it's free of any nasties and is perfectly safe for you um it's also a subscription service as well the deodorant i swear by it's the only deodorant i've used since when did I start working with them this year? I think in February, January, February time. So basically all year long, I've gone through the whole summer riding, tennis, you know, cardio, no smell, no smell. You do, you will still sweat through using it. And I do remember using it um, about three years ago, maybe, and sweating through it, thinking this isn't working. Um, but I didn't really understand the concept of the brand and the product and the importance actually of sweating back then. Whereas now knowing that information, you know, the, deo the deodorant is totally, totally, 100% smell, uh, what's the word, like smell? smell absorbing if that makes sense you you do sweat because it's natural to keep your pores open and sweating etc um but you just don't get any smell in fact you smell wonderful because all of the products smell incredible um but they've recently i think in the last six ish months maybe come out with a refillable body wash slash shower gel and they've just sent me this new packaging which is the emma bridgewater one i do have the deodorant case actually for this but basically you get your body wash refill in whichever scent you want this scent is this scent in particular is the stacy solomon one and it's the hawaiian ocean oh my god and that just smells oh, like a dream um and then all you do basically super simply this goes in here untwist the cap pop the lid on in giving it a good twist and your new body wash is all ready to go but if you don't like this case in particular there are loads of cases on the website they've actually started doing lip balms as well now um i do have a discount code i feel like they've ch since changed their discount code so i'm going to actually email them today so before this video goes live i will hopefully have an updated one i won't be able to pop it on the screen because it will be edited way before it goes as it's going to be edited a few days before it goes live as obviously i'm in london and it's super busy over the weekend um but if i do get one before it goes live on sunday it will be in the description box and it's usually 20% I think so definitely worth having a look at. Anyway I'm going to crack on with my day I've got quite a bit of filming to do short form wise and I will catch up with you guys when it's time to attempt to cook some dinner. Now. Fast forwarding to the evening it is now time to cook dinner. I have made a very silly mistake today in agreeing to get my mum from the airport th thinking she'd be landing at like I don't know seven eight o'clock at the latest. She lands at about quarter to eleven so glad I did that. Anyway, I need to therefore feed myself and keep my energy levels going. So tonight I'm actually going to cook that steak, but also just to say, the cinnamon bun bites from Marks and Spencers, they're so good. Cue the time lapse because we are going to get cooking. Alexa, play jazz music for autumn.
everybody. It is a bright, fresh day. It's the last day of this vlog and I'm off now to go and see Ringo for the morning. I'm actually driving my car to go and grab my lorry um, and I'm going to drive my lorry up actually because in my lorry at the moment is all of his winter wardrobe, all of his winter rugs um, and also some grooming bits and some little bits and pieces that I still haven't um, fully unpacked from the move a couple of months ago. Um, so I'm going to take all of that up today. It's also a beautifully sunny day today. So I thought it's really the best time to give him a really good bath before the winter comes. As I'm competing I always feel so mean giving him a bath in the winter unless he's absolutely like beyond filthy and needs it. I am super lucky that at the new yard um, there's hot water and a solarium but even still like when it's super cold um, I just don't like to do it so at this time of year so at this time of year I like to do like a really deep main wash. He's gonna hate it. He's gonna feel like he's being drowned because he because he can't even cope with the rain. Honestly, it's like he thinks he's the Wicked Witch from the West and is allergic to water. Um, he's really not and he's absolutely fine and has been having a bath for the last 17, yeah, 17 years. But he never remembers that. Um, but anyway, I'm off to go and grab the lorry now and I will see you guys at Dingo's. <laughs> I think sometimes to actually settle and get your confidence to sort of vlog and talk in a new place but anyway I'm about to give him a super quick brush and main plait. there's not much point as I'm going to be giving him a good bath afterwards but I just like to ride a tidy pony I don't know what it is if he's messy I just don't enjoy the whole process as much so I'm going to give him a super quick plait and tidy ride and then bath Well everybody, we're up, we're on, this is our view, it's a little bit windy actually outside today, here he is, he's quite excited now, <laughs> seen himself in the mirror, um, but anyway we're in the outdoor today because it's such a beautiful day, hang on I am going to have to steer otherwise he'll be going up the bank, he's not very good with direction are you my little darling, but anyway we are on, we're so lucky because not only, because not only do we have the most gorgeous indoor Look at this for an outdoor. It's actually beautiful. So it's so lovely actually to be riding outdoors. We've only ridden twice outdoors since being here because the weather's not been wonderful. But today it is pure, pure bliss. And just like that, I've retrieved my phone, which I had filming me down there. But for the last couple of weeks, I've really been focusing on our fitness and circles and not necessarily collecting in any way because he, we've both been really riding unfit as well with him being what have you seen? 17 as well. Um, obviously it takes a lot longer for him. Obviously it takes a lot longer for him and his muscles to, where are we off to? To get warmed up, etc, etc. Um, but today, for the first time ever, wait a minute, I'm chatting away, I'm trying to chat, come back. Um, for the first time, for the first time in about a year, we had some really, for the first time in about a year, because obviously we've had about that much time off of actual training, we had the best session ever. I'm so proud of us. Mainly so proud of you, who is now off. It's not okay for your reins. Um, he's a legend and um, we had the best time ever. But honestly, guys, look at this. Look at how lucky we are. He looks absolutely worn out now, bless him. Um, this is just total, total bliss. And I'm feeling incredibly, incredibly blessed. But yeah, it was a great training. But yeah, it was a great training session. And hopefully by Christmas and or January, we'll be back out competing and doing what we enjoy doing best. And now ready to hate his life. 
Because you're going to have a bath and you're going to hate it. But shall we do a three, two, one, clean dingo? Three, two, one, and clean. Couldn't touch his face because he hasn't been bathing ages. I'm ready to think I was going to drown him, but his mane has been shampooed and conditioned and he's much better now. Oh, it's been a hard day. He's got all of his little creams on, haven't you, my darling? And now it's time for, it's time for mommy to go home. And on Wednesdays, Ringo likes to wear pink. Now it is a nick for me to not ride with a hairband, but mine somehow fell off during the ride. You're not gonna drown, I promise. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next Sunday at 5.30.